All right, guys, next up in the fourth video in the Hasbro Marvel Legends series, Avengers Wave 3, Avengers Endgame, Armored Thanos, Build-A-Figure, and we have Citizen V. This is the first comic figure of the wave that I'll be reviewing. I'm not going to get into too much detail as far as who the characters are or anything like that. I'm just really going to get straight to the point on these uh, these comic figures, so they might be a little bit shorter. Um, really just going over the articulation, because th to be honest with you, there's not a whole lot of detail or anything in these comic figures. But here, you can see that he comes with the one of the leg pieces for Thanos, but one of the really cool things on this package is we get a special Citizen V logo right there in the front. So I really like when the Hasbro does this to certain characters on the package. Um, really helps get it to stand out, so I really like the way that looks. Here on the side package, um, we see the artwork for Citizen V, pretty interesting. Here on the back of the package, we see that same image of him, and the bio reads, Citizen V, Baron Helmet Zemo adopts the alias Citizen V and leads the heroic Thunderbolts into battle against various villains. Now, I think that's misleading, because correct me if I'm wrong, the Thunderbolts, they're a group of villains, so do they actually do good? Let me know down in the comments below because I'm not familiar with the Thunderbolts team um, in the comics. So I haven't read a huge amount of comics. I've read some, uh, but nothing uh, regarding the Thunderbolts. So let me know down in the comments below. Here we have all the figures from the wave and we'll get right to it. Open it up and look at the figure. Okay, here is Citizen V out of the package. Now this is a very basic figure um, with a couple of new things. There's really not a whole lot to it. Um, because this is just the Bucky Cap mold. So the mold that we get over and over and over again that just won't seem to go away, we got again with Citizen V. Now, does it work for this character? Sure. Does it work for the figure? Yeah, but it's not anything um, stand out that stands out or anything. The cape is cool, but it limits the figure a lot. So it's very... you get... Uh, you don't get as much movement in the shoulders because of this cape. Now, I'm not going to go over the articulation because it's Bucky Cap. We've seen Bucky Cap. We know Bucky Cap. What I will say the good about this figure is we get a new cape. That's cool, even though it hinders articulation quite a bit. We get a new sword. That's cool. There's no paint on it whatsoever. It's just dull gray plastic. So that sucks. But the sculpt of it is very nice. If I can get it to focus, which I can't seem to get it to want to focus right now. Anyway, there's the sword. So again, nothing special. It's a good sculpt, um, but a nice paint would have been good. You know, painted handle um, and then like a uh, metallic silver for the blade would have been great. Would have gone a long way for the figure itself, but we didn't get that. Uh, we got the right leg to Thanos, which we'll put over here in the corner. So all of the Thanos build a figure pieces are together. Um, another thing, there is a nice black, dark wash over the gloves, um, the, the wrist, the arm wraps, this belt piece thing that he's got going, and then his boots. So that is cool. So they're done in a nice dark red color, and then the wash makes them look really good. I think these boots came from a Captain America figure. Which Captain America figure? I can't really place right now. I had a buddy over, Derek. He had mentioned Captain America boots. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, these wrist wraps, I'm not sure. I think these may have come with uh, Iron Fist? Trying to think of the Iron Fist figure. I don't even know. I'm trying to think. Um, I'll get in closer. We could take a closer look. And then we have this belt piece here. Now there's a bigger loop on there. And I'm going to assume it's so you can place the sword in there and it can hang down like so. And that looks pretty good. I do kind of like that they have the cape, kind of that, this waving effect to it. Um, so that's pretty cool. We get a nice metallic blue on the shoulder pad here with the silver stars. Uh, we get a nice red in here. There's a little scuff on one of the white stripes. Um, inside of the cape is white, and then outside of the back is blue. So the cape does look very cool. Now it just ports right on into the back of the figure. You can see Bucky Cap, we have that port back there, um, and then it just plugs right on in. But again, it very it hinders, very much so hinders the movement of these shoulders. So you can see it just kind of gets away. Now it's a little pliable. There's a little, it does get a little bit thicker on this shoulder piece, uh, but then it looks kind of odd when it's kind of bowing out. So it's kind of tough. Like I try to do this pose here that the figure is doing with the arms straight out and the sword. It makes it difficult with no butterfly joints and then those shoulder pads being there. Uh, but again, it's not a terrible thing. It's just I don't particularly care for the way it looks. And it just popped right on off the figure. Let me port that right back on in. 
and you really have to push it into that peg hole. So let's take one, uh, let's take up some close up looks at the figure before we head out. Okay, so here's a close up look. Now the face plate or face mask or whatever thing it is, there's no paint on it, but it's done in a nice pearly looking um, piece of plastic. So it could be painted over, uh, but it does look good and does have a nice shine to it. And it's kind of creepy to think that there's no like facial expression to it. And maybe that's the idea behind it. I'm not really sure, uh, but it's interesting. The r arm wraps look really good. I like, I really do like the dark wash that they have on it. I think it comes out looking very good over the red. Um, we get the same here for the belt, you could see, um, and then for the boots. But that's it. Not a whole lot to the figure. Let me know if you guys have any questions about it. Again, it's just a standard Bucky cap, so not a whole lot to really go over with it. Um, but if you could, you guys do have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up if you guys liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.